Hey, thanks for checking out the web show. Today we meet four-time world Muay Thai champion Nathan Carnage Corbett. We actually filmed uh, behind the scenes of one of his big world title fights, and I'll put that episode on the web show soon. But on this day, which is today, what is it? Thursday. We caught up for a coffee on the Gold Coast. Well, we've got to thank Nick for holding the camera. Say thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick, for, for uh, your kind gesture today. Yeah. Now, this is Three Beans Cafe on the Gold Coast. We come here quite regularly. You didn't actually know we were going to film today, but this is uh, Nathan Carnage Corbett, four-time world champion. How are you, champ? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Mate, I haven't actually had a chance to sit down and film your story yet, and I want to know, how did this all come about for you? I mean, right now you're the best fighter in the world, really, one of the most scariest guys on the planet. How did it all start? Um, I guess it started the usual sort of karate kid story you know I started with martial arts when I was younger um, you know I was just a timid child that, that wanted to learn how to defend myself and from there I just had the passion to to keep challenging myself uh, as a warrior and as a man so I sort of furthered into the kickboxing um, you know it was a bit more of a challenge in karate and then yeah a few years later four times world champion so going back to when you're a kid though and you're starting to learn to even do a little bit of karate was it because you were scared were you getting beat up as a kid or what were you a bit of a brat or what no I didn't get beat up I had one fight in school and um, I you know caught one punch it wasn't anything like a bashing or anything but I just thought I don't want to be on the end of that again you know I don't I want to be able to defend myself I want to be proud I want to be able to walk you know the streets you know with my head up high instead of you know ducking and curving so it was really just a, 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 an inner sort of passion that I've had and still burning today I still fight for that reason alone. So is it, do you find that like with martial arts in general is it, is it more a confidence and a lifestyle you get from it is it something that is that why you love it so much? I think martial arts especially traditional martial arts it's more of a confidence and a lifestyle uh, when you when you go to say Thai boxing or boxing um, as a professional then it becomes business but there still has that element of, um, of you know a lifestyle of course and, and you know the confidence and the discipline and the um, respect and that comes with it. Yeah. So like before a massive fight you've had four world title fights in front of some amazing stadiums even here on the Goldie it was almost sold out it was huge. What's it like for you before a fight? Do you ever get are you ever packing your dax before? It? I'm actually really nervous before fights. Firstly is um, I don't have like you know that natural sort of you know want to go out there and sort of kill somebody um, mentality. Um, so I guess it's that challenge to, to, to you know, meet my fears instead of you know, running away from them. I meet my fears, which sounds silly, but you know, one of my fears is violence. But um, outside of that, I guess I get the fear of um, self, self-doubt. You know, if I let myself down, I don't perform you know, how I'd like to perform or, you know, or, or of course, win, you know, being the ultimate always. But, um, you know, I've proven myself to be, you know, not too bad, so... <laughs> <laughs> not too bad, you're like, you're a freak. Um, what's been, like, the highlight of your career then so far? Like, if you can talk about one night where it just all clicked or everything, all the hard work was worthwhile, what would it be? Um, it's, a, it's a big one. There's obviously been a lot of highlights that I've, you know, had four title fights and won them, but uh, one that, you know, I recognise the most, and I was thinking about the other day, was of when I fought at the Gold Coast Convention Centre. Uh, you were there that night, actually. It was for the WBC Muay Thai World Title, which is the first time that WBC had put, you know, Muay Thai belts uh, on the um, on the market. And I was, you know, lucky to fight for that night. And I fought a Japanese guy in, um, in front of my hometown. Smashed him. And I was just on fire. And just the whole the whole night, you know, the the the, the, the way in the press conference, the you know, the preparation before the fight, the after party, the memory. The it was just. Yeah, I look back, you know, it was about 18 months ago now, and I have to say that was sort of the highlight for me. And um, I hope to have another another night like that. Now, it's pretty cool yesterday to chat with uh, Chuck Mundine for a little bit and ask him some stuff about advice he'd have for people, young kids that look up to you guys as heroes. What sort of things would you pass on that you've learnt about the discipline and working hard for your goals? I guess, uh, like I always chased, uh, chased my own sort of um, dream, you know, was to be a champion and, and to be a warrior. So that's one of the biggest things to chase your dreams. But the main thing is to um, to be around positive people. You know, surround yourself around good people because good people, you know, can make good things happen. You know, if you hang around bad people, you know, they say you know you lay with dogs, you get fleas. Well, that that's a true statement. So. The main thing is to, you know, have a passion, have a dream, chase it, but also involve yourself around good people to um, back it up and help you get there. 
a rock on man and if you could live the ultimate for you then talking about dreams what would be the ultimate for the carnage the ultimate dream at this stage is um, is to finish my career on top um, you know, undefeated and, uh, and to be able to I guess pass that knowledge down um, you know to, to kids and, and whoever needs that confidence and belief that um, that I once didn't have as well and, and still you know currently work to today to achieve. And what do you think of Nick Waters, the musician on the Gold Coast? He's a talent, isn't he? Mate, he's the best. I go, go everywhere he is, so he, he can back me up on that one. Thanks, mate. Yeah, so there it is. Uh, quick chat with Nathan. He's got a huge fight coming up in a couple of weeks' time in Sweden and then another big one on the Gold Coast um, defending his world titles. And there's Nick quickly there who did the videoing for us instead of having a coffee. Good man. But uh, thanks for checking it out. More stories on the way. We'll follow Nathan's journey a lot more on the web show.